welcome to a new vlog. I'm coming to you live, well, not live because you're watching this after the fact, from a hotel room in LA where I'm here for Adobe Max. And um, this year Adobe have invited me to be an insider, which is very exciting. Last year they like flew me out to the conference, but I was just like there as a regular attendee, if that makes sense. Um, and this time uh, I'm involved in a bunch of like cool things and like extra stuff they've put on. Today is Sunday, the conference doesn't actually start till tomorrow, till Monday. But today they're doing like a like insider's summit thing, so it's like a, a pre-conference I suppose. Um, and I'm actually going to be on a panel today, which will be pretty cool, talking about collaboration. And then yeah, throughout the event itself um, I'll get to like sit with the other insiders for the keynotes and things like that. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, it's very exciting. This was a really cool conference last year, it was kind of overwhelming, it was my first time and I don't think I realised quite how big it was going to be. Um, yeah, but I know a little bit more of what to expect this time, so yes, looking forward to that. It's going to be a great few days of creativity, inspiration and hopefully meeting a lot of other designers too. Uh, right now it is 9.10 and I have to be downstairs at 9.15 to meet people to go get on the bus to go to wherever this pre-conference is happening. So. I better go and do that. Alright, so we are on a sightseeing bus. We are. Heading to our location for the day. This is Caroline, we just met. Hi. And now we have a friend at the conference. Yes. Yes. It's yes. really great. We've been lonely for a few days. <laughs> So now we're going to get to see a bit of LA, I guess, on our way to the thing, so that's pretty cool. So I think both of us are wishing we wore a hat. Right, it's like boiling. Yeah. Oh. Check it out from behind me. <laughs> <laughs> We're listening to a lot of design podcasts and noticed that there was no design podcast that was just hosted by women. We just did a panel! Hello! How did it go everyone? Oh, oh, really excited. <laughs> okay, so look who I'm with. Hey you guys. might remember her from the last <laughs> yeah, Adobe Max vlog, which was the last time we saw each other, right? No! No! The one time in between. Yeah. Yeah. Mind. Okay, the Adobe team have surprised us with a trip to Universal Studios. We're gonna go do a behind the scenes tour and then we're gonna make videos using Premiere Rush for yes. our On our phones. Yes, it's gonna be great. Sunny, it's a good day. Let's go see Universal. Good place. Wind our way through the living room. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We're here. <laughs> Holy mother forking shirt balls. Riven and I are a team for this XD challenge that we're doing <laughs> and we're making a website, well a prototype of a website for like a food itinerary of LA. It's been very quick. I'm just basically just watching and supporting at this point. <laughs> the judges. <laughs> Good job guys. It is time for Adobe Max Day 2. Well, it's the first official day yes. of the conference. We yes. had a special day, day zero. zero. Yeah. So we're meeting our group of insider friends up here yes. to go and get a VIP seat for the keynote. I can tap and drag and create really smooth vector curves. And as I scroll through this, scroll through it, you can actually see the bounding box showing you all of the motion that it did to keep that action in the center. I've just met Laura, and she says she shows my videos to her students in her high school class. This is Charlie Marie, I can't even believe it. <laughs> we so love you. We're saying hi to the vlog so that she can show her students. Hi. So we've just watched the day one keynote. Can we all say our favorite part or like most exciting thing? I really liked uh, Photoshop for iPad and yeah. uh, 
for the upcoming Illustrator app. Yes. But I'm super excited about uh, Frisco as well. So like everything where you can illustrate. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited for Illustrator for iPad, but I hope it doesn't take until this time next year to actually bring it out, like what happened with Photoshop for iPad. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah true. But yeah, it's going to be super useful because right now I use Astro Pad, which is like a a tool that means you can use your Apple Pencil to uh, interact with the screen on your computer. So I use that to draw vectors with my pencil and Illustrator. Yeah, it works. It's going to be going to be much better to just be able to do it in the app. Have you got one, Karen? I would say the auto reframe on yeah. Premiere finally getting released. Yep. I gave some feedback about it a few months ago and I was just like, where is it? But when yeah. can I use it? <laughs> and now we can all use it. And that was a sneak last year. So I'm excited to see what the sneaks are tomorrow because we'll get to see what features sort of like might be announced next year. Yeah. You know, which is cool. And Billy Eilish. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Caroline was very excited for Billy Eilish. <laughs> the whole room went quiet. I didn't know she was going to be there either. <laughs> there we go. Surprises all around. There's an in and out food truck. Cool. I'm in the community pavilion right now with Nancy! Hey. If you haven't seen Nancy before, you might have seen some of her work because she edits some of my videos sometimes. So, there we go. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe she's editing this one right now. That is going to be very meta about that. <laughs> very, yeah. very. I'm just showing her how the switch pod works and how yeah. it's great that I can get so, so far away from me. We're having a backstage tour of how the keynote stuff works. Just on the stage, you know. <laughs> yeah, how's it feel to be up on the stage? It's pretty. It's it's nice and firm. I, I feel like I can do this. I want this as a bed. <laughs> well, it's been quite a day so far. Um, I just took a few minutes to sit by myself outside and you know have some introvert chill time. But I wandered around the community pavilion a bit, looked at the booths. The future has a booth there, which is really cool. I think I'm gonna try and. Um, see if the timing will work out for me to be on Chris's live stream that he's doing um, on the future YouTube channel so we'll see if that happens if it did happen I will link the like a replay of it down below because yeah we'll see um, also just hung out and chatted with some people which is nice that's what I really like to do at conferences like these is just meet people talk to them you know I'm on my way now to an event that Apple is putting on and I don't know what to expect but I was like Apple is hosting something yes sure I want to be there I'm an Apple user I turn down every single uh, request for a sponsored video by a PC that comes my way because I am you know sticking with Apple for better or for worse uh, so yeah I'm excited to see what they want to talk to us about there Oh, let me stand a bit out of the sunshine. Okay, it is Adobe Max day two, the last like main day of the conference. There is still some sessions and stuff on tomorrow, but um, yeah, today's the last day of the keynotes and things. Last night was really fun. I went to the community pavilion welcome reception thing. It was in the hall with all the sponsor booths that you saw me at uh, yesterday, just wandering around and there was food and drinks there. And then I went to a UX leaders thing at a bar at Union Station, which was really fun. Um, got to hang out with people and have good chats. Don't think I've had enough sleep, to be honest, uh, which is probably why my face looks like this. But yeah, I'm heading off now to grab a coffee before going in to the day two keynote. This morning, Dave Grohl is speaking, which I'm really excited about. And there's also gonna be Billie Eilish and someone else I think that I'm supposed to know, but I don't. <laughs> but anyway, it's gonna be a great morning keynote. Yesterday's was more focused on the product, I suppose. And then Tuesday mornings is more um, like creativity inspiration style things. I think that's what I gather anyway. Let's get going. Look who I found. Hello. Waiting for the keynote for day two. Yeah, looking forward to Benny Eilish. Yep. It's going to be awesome. Dave Grohl is the one I'm looking forward to. I've mentioned that several times in this vlog already. <laughs> Legend, yeah. yeah. What was your favorite part of yesterday? Um, apart from the fried jalapenos, which were just <laughs> Amazing. Um, just meeting everyone. So yeah. many cool conversations. Just being around so many creative people. It's, yeah. uh, it's a treat for me. It's yeah. Great. I think honestly one of my favorite parts of yesterday was just sitting on the floor and talking to people. Yeah. Literally. Not one of the sessions, just talking. Oh, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> so I have a plan to go to Japan. But I then 
and I think for a long time I kind of copied them. My father was a writer. Okay, so Charlie has a YouTube channel. You guys gotta check it out. What is their YouTube channel? YouTube channel is Charlie Marie TV. Charlie Marie TV. There you go. Okay, let's get into it. This segment is all about I'm a student, mm -hmm. I'm about to graduate, or I've just graduated. No, what? Oh, yeah. So, give us some tips. Okay, I feel like. Maybe one thing that I, I feel like students can often do wrong is think that when they graduate, they're done learning, you know? Like, okay, I've finished, I've got my education, I'm an expert now, I can do this whole design thing. And it's just not the case. Like, you are constantly learning. And you shouldn't let finishing education mean you stop putting a focus on. Well, that was fun. Just popped on to the live stream that Chris and the Future Guys were doing. Um, they were talking about what to do when you've just graduated and you're like freaking out a little bit about the future of your career. So yeah, we took some questions from people who were there, some questions from the live audience. It was really fun. It kind of made me want to do more live streaming, but I feel like I'd want to do it um, in a scenario like that where it's me and another person, not just being myself for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, if you watched it, let me know if you enjoyed it, because that was really fun. <laughs> um, now I'm off to a panel about um, closing the diversity gap which should be a good one, and uh, also a poster. Actually, they gave it to me for free, so thank you, the future. <laughs> All right, I'm just back in my room having a little bit of a break before we go into sneaks and then the bash. Thought I'd catch up on like what's happened today and share some of my favorite insights. Um, I've been keeping a note, this is what I do at every conference, is I have like one note where all of my thoughts to do with the conference go. Every time someone says something that like, I don't know, sparks something in me, I like to write it down. I don't take constant notes throughout talks or anything like that. But yeah, there was some really great, more inspirational style talks this morning, like I think I said, where yesterday was a product day and today is more the like, you know, hearing from keynote speakers and that sort of thing. The first, the first keynote speaker on stage today um, had something really interesting to say that I wrote down like instantly because I was like, damn, that's a good question. <laughs> um, it was Chantal Martin and she said, who are you without saying where you're from, what you do, or the roles you play in life, like, you know, mother, sister, you know, those sorts of things. How would you answer that question? Who are you? And like, I feel like I just had an existential crisis sitting in the keynote room because I was like, I don't know how I would answer that. Because I always describe myself as a designer um, or like a content creator or like, I describe myself mostly to do with my work. Um, so that's what I'm gonna think on and you might wanna think on too, but yeah. I don't know how I'd answer that, but I loved that she challenged the audience in that way. It seemed like um, a, a through theme that I heard in the talks this morning were about solitude, I guess, and taking time to be by yourself with your thoughts. And this actually came out yesterday in Meg Lewis's session that I went to as well, um, that creativity and imagination, she finds it most when she's just by herself with her own brain. She was talking about how as a kid uh, on like a long car journey she would just like stare out the window and her parents worried about her but she was just like thinking and imagining you know. A lot of the speakers on the main stage this morning were talking about the fact that if you don't give yourself time to be without devices, to be by yourself, to think, um, you can't find that creative spark. Um, David LaChapelle had a really good line where he said your inner voice is your GPS as an artist and you need solitude in order to hear that inner voice, which I thought was a really great point and made me think that I don't just stop and think very often. I'm always like doing something, you know, like if I'm walking somewhere and listening to a podcast or if I'm getting ready in the morning and watching a YouTube video, I'm always like consuming and a lot of the time it's stuff that is useful and that I'm learning from, but I'm not giving enough time to yeah, let that creative spark go, I think. Something else I've written down as I've been really inspired by all of the amazing creative people at this conference is that I want to spend more time like creating just for fun. I feel like that's just not something I do anymore. Everything I create is either for work, it's for a YouTube video, you know, it's for some project or other. There is a purpose behind it. Every now and then I'll do a lettering piece, but, but yeah, not very often. And that's something that I want to do more of because I worry that I'm losing like my creativity in that way. And I'm getting too far into the like functional data-driven design, which is awesome, but I don't wanna lose the creativity side of things as well. So yeah, I wanna try and set aside time, maybe not every day because I suck at everyday challenges, but at least a couple of times a week just to like 
sit down with my iPad, open Adobe Fresco or something and, and try out some watercolors to just make something for fun, even if it's not something I post. Anyway, this has been some thoughts. Um, I wonder if we can see, okay, it's not out this window here, but last year they had the Max Bash at, I don't even know exactly where it was, but it was a bus ride away from the convention center. So it took everyone a long time to get there. And I don't know, I feel like we didn't end up spending much time at the bash because we were getting there and then waiting in a line to get in. This time it's like right outside the convention center itself, which is gonna be awesome. I think maybe it's like the stable center too, which is near it. I don't know, but yeah, that's gonna be really great. As an Adobe Insider, I'm very excited that we get to go in early for sneaks because that means that we can try and get as close to the front as possible. Um, sneaks was my favorite part of last year, so I'm really excited for it today. Super fun last night, hanging out at Vampire Weekend with my friends, both ones I've met before and ones I just met there. Um, today I was going to go to a session, but then I got talking to Laura at breakfast and ended up missing it because I was enjoying that conversation. So now I'm just here at Community Pavilion for my last hour or so at the convention. Uh, on the last day they have this thing that's like um, a marketplace where as you can see there's like some booths behind me. Uh, and all these creatives have awesome things like prints and pens and books and stuff for sale. So that's some fun. We're just walking around and seeing what's available. I'm probably going to end up spending some money. <laughs> Laura and I hanging out here in the pavilion. We did some shopping, didn't we, Laura? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright, this my friends brings us to the end of my Adobe Max vlog. I hope that watching this gave you a sense of what it's like to be at the event, um, that you found it interesting to see. Really enjoyed attending. Uh, just like last year, I feel like my favorite parts were mostly the people that I met here and having conversations with them rather than attending sessions and stuff like that. Although I did really enjoy the keynotes, for sure. Yeah, it's just cool that this is an event that brings a bunch of like-minded people together and like, I don't know, you could just be eating lunch and the person next to you is going to be super interesting with their creative career and you're going to have something to talk about. So yeah, I really like that about events like these. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you enjoy design, then make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I talk about design every week. And so you probably, hopefully, like my other videos. All right, thanks for watching everyone. I will see you next time.